Okay, welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to a Wednesday night league. We got a spicy brew here. We got a nice Lutri, the Spellcaster companion deck for our buddy Dave. Uh, it was just his birthday, and I feel like this is uh, this is going to be a good one for him. Uh, we are even going as far as playing Tainted Pact. So we are actually playing a Singleton land base, uh, which is, you know, I feel like the way Lutri should be played. Playing for four Urza Saga, playing four Volcanic, four Underground Sea. Boring. Lame. Not Lutri style. So we got a, a nice uh, 60 card Singleton Lutri deck here for our Tainted Pact. Uh, Tainted Pact literally just being a uh, tutor, but also a combination with Thassa's Oracle. Um, and uh, obviously we have Demonic Consultation Oracle as well. We're going to play a lot of blue and black powerful cards along with a full Moxon mana base, uh, including Volt and Key and Saga, uh, Cantrips, Counters, Discard, Tutors. I uh, got some other A plus B combos with a Cold Reacher Time Twister. Uh, as many different pieces of counter magic as I can find with one Force one of Will, one Force of Negation, one Mind Break Trap. Not going to play the Misdirection this time, but you totally could play Misdirection as well. Uh, and of course, we have access to Tinker Bolas Citadel, because how else will we win a game of Vintage? Uh, sideboard contains many, one of uh, our uh, Bizarre Hate, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Uh, obviously, we have some removal, Fatal Push, Dismember, uh, an Opposition Agent for those pesky Saga Mirrors. A Dress Down, a Flux, a Hercules, and a Steel Sabotage for various types of artifacts. And of course, uh, our companion, the Elemental Otter, Lutri. Oh, Spell Chaser. I wonder if I said Spell Caster the first time. Uh, why aren't we playing Spellseeker? Because Spellseeker is a 3-mana 1-1. One, one. That is why we're not playing Spellseeker. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the whole deck. Um, this copies some of our powerful spells. We're going to hopefully win some games with Thassa's Oracle and Tinker. Uh, I am not choosing to play the one Ritual, one Doomsday. I don't think it's very good. Um, this deck doesn't really cast Dark, uh, Doomsday at a, at a, a speed and consistency that would make that play good in my mind. Uh, I do think that four Rituals are a key component to the viability of Doomsday. Uh, despite my anyone when anyone else might tell you. Uh, yeah, let's battle. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Okay, here we go for round one. Chat has pointed out we have no shielder in our deck, which I do think is an oversight. Uh, but it's okay, we don't, we don't need shielder. That card is too good. Our deck is uh, much too powerful as it is. First up on our chopping block here, we have Absorbent 3 playing red-green stuff. Let's begin. I have an Elemental Otter. Okay, we're, we're going to have to make a command here. We're going to have to make a command. Add com uh, non Lutri is non-land. Uh, and, then, and then exclamation mark card, Tainted Pack. Is that going to work? I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Tree is non-land. Damn. So close. All right. I'll figure that out later. So there's a tainted pack in our deck, which is why we have a single mana base uh, for lands. Um, turn one demonic consultation for Lotus and do what? Twisties? You want me to consult for Lotus and do the twisties? Into Narset. Oh, yeah, a slightly more powerful card than Time Twister. Um, if I do that, not me. You know that my one of my top six cards will be a Lotus, right? Or my Lotus will be on the bottom of my library. You do know that that is what will happen if we make that play. If you give someone a sub, I will make that play. 
I will give you the option. I will allow for this shenanigans, this tomfoolery. We are 100% likely to lose this game if we cast him on a consultation for Lotus. All right, well, money talks chat. This is how the world works. If you're new to the world, <laughs> money talks. All right. So I want a consultation for Black Lotus. All right, I, I am going to name Black Lotus with my demonic consultation. Okay. Uh, my <laughs> I have uh, 12 cards not exiled. My Thassa's Oracle is exiled, and uh, my Manifold Key is exiled, and my Saga is exiled. Uh, so I believe it is going to be hard. <laughs> I believe it is going to be hard for us to win the game. <laughs> so, uh, whenever you ask for advice, don't ever, ever listen to chat. All right, we were able to find fast mana. This is, uh, this is a good thing. I have to hold this in my hand, though, in case my opponent vigors me, because it is absorbent. We still have an otter. Our otter is not, our otter is not exiled. So. Man, this plan is going really, really well. The good news is when we twist her, we're going to get back Lotus and Narset. So, uh, you know, truly winning. How do we win this game? It has to be... Man, we would have even drawn the extra... Uh... Damn. Uh... Okay. Do we have a hold reacher left? No. Do we have our force of will, though? Uh, do we twist? Is that even worth? What does that get us in life? Gets us a couple cards. Sure, why not? Let's twist. All right, okay. We have a new demonic consultation. Do we have enough mana to play a citadel? We do. We do technically not. We do technically have enough mana to play a citadel because we obviously have a black lotus in our deck. So, we do need enough attacks with Lutri. Twister does put the cards we had in our graveyard, not the cards we had in Exile, unfortunately. Dig through time. All right, so I'm going to Tainted Pact for a Black Lotus. Is that the plan? <laughs> uh, man, that is going to kill us, though. That is going to kill us. Well, maybe we can find something. Let's cast Tainted Pact. Uh, do I want to put Misty Rainforest in my hand? No. Do I want to put Dark Slick Shores in my hand? No. Do I want to put Narset Parter of the Veils into my hand? Yes. <laughs> No, stop suggesting Limdal's Vault. This is not 2005. Well, I can't untap Time Vault because we no longer have a Manifold Key. So I guess we're going to go with Repeal. <laughs> Just because we're playing Blue-Black Singleton doesn't mean we can add all the random Blue-Black cards from throughout Magic's history. I'm getting Strip Mined. Fable? We can't beat that. 
I guess we can beat that. We have a repeal. All right. I guess we'll. I guess we'll try to beat it. Wait. We only have five attacks though. Hmm. Oh wait. If we repeal, we get even less attacks. Hmm. Things seem bad. All right. I only have three cards left in my deck, unfortunately. So I'm not sure. I, I guess the Citadel is worse than just getting a Lutri. Well, I need a Citadel in play, though. Hmm. I don't think we have 10 non-land permanents either. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I don't believe I have enough cards to win the game. So, uh, I was killed for the low, low price of $2.50. It is okay, though. We have, uh, we have, uh, we have cards. We, we have got a dismember, fatal push, dress down, sphinx. It'll be fine. We'll take out our duress and our spell pierce and our Fluster storm and our well uh, and our mystical dispute. I want to keep negation because the uh, the minx and boo is just a killer magic card. Do I have any other cards I want to take out? Mind break trap is a little sus. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we just need to win two more games. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I still have a loot tree. Uh, yeah. Why not? Let's go get one of the islands. Soul ring. Yeah, that's that's not gonna do it. Twisties, okay. I can I can get behind a little twisties. True, actually accurate. Uh, we also have both of those cards in our deck because we can only play one of each of them. Uh oh, it's oof time. Companion Moxin. Why, why, why? Oh, it do be like that. I kind of want, like, all of these Magic the Gathering cards, don't I? Not me out here, like, how do you lose to Absorbent 3? And I'm out here, like, how do you ever win? It's impossible. Maybe don't cast Demonic Consultation for Black Lotus? Who knows? No one, no one could truly know the answer to that question. <sighs> Tarmogoyf, noble hierarch. Oh, sorry, ignoble hierarch. I should, I should clarify. I'm not convinced a Time Twister helps us, unfortunately. Well, the good news is I have two different cards that are basic islands. Through the power of friendship. Hmm? Am I getting ribbed? Yeah, I I is. 
Okay, man. I don't know. Things look bad. Things look real bad. Tarmogoyf? Cindervot? Yeah, Tarmogoyf. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> seems like the worst possible card has been called on our uh, on our demonic consultation. By the way, the the red green Tarmogoy player has determined that demonic consultation may be the worst possible card. Has a strong point. There's a convincing argument. All right, give me a new one. Uh, I mean, I don't even live if I cast this Thought Seize, right? All right, so I Underground C, and I Vamp, and I try to hit a dis, uh, Fatal Push, and then Kill? kill? Possibly? Possible. Oh god, am I getting Minx and booed after I give them seven cards? This is the one Minx and boo. Well, that certainly does not help my chances of resolving a Yogg will to win this game. Yeah, alright, okay. Uh huh. Okay. And and abundant harvest. All right. It's a resolver. Uh, revealed Ch chalice. Really? Hmm. All right, how do I win? If I had any any two card combination in my hand, uh, we would be okay. Uh, but I can't play one one drop, so the only two card combination that really works is Oracle Pact. We could also tinker for a Sphinx, which could work depending on how many Besieges they have. Oh, we have Dress Down. Oh, the Dress Down doesn't affect Chalice. Because we could Dress Down their board. Quite powerful. How many Pesagers do they have, though? They should have, like, four, right? We're not twistering again, not me. Stop twistering. Twistering is not happening. My opponent has a chalice in play. I guess it's on one, though. Mm. I'm going to... Dress down... Is dress down actually good enough here, though? I'm not convinced dress down's good good enough here if they didn't have a chalice i would snap off a dress down seems more fun is a valid point i mean i can po regardless of if i choose to tinker or not No, we can't... If we Hold Breacher... Well, why is that good? Why is Hold Breacher Twister good on this board? It's not, right? And the answer is no. I don't think we have enough mana to do that anyways. You need nine mana to do that. I'm just getting a Tinker. There's no way they have another Besage you after they flip one over with their Abundant Harvest, right? I think we can still PO. Well, I guess I can't beat a a a Besaju because I don't have a needle in my deck, anyways. I should probably tinker 
first in case I get draw the card that I'm tinkering for off of my PO. Why did I? Oh yeah, I, I got the one drop. Sure. Is there anything of value that I can PO into here? Don't think so. Maybe I should have brought in a needle. Well, I, I mean, I don't need to, like, PO right away or anything, right? Like, I mean, I don't think Force of Will is good, right? I, I have protection from green, so the only thing they can have is Besage you. Which I can't answer, so. Do we have a white land? No, we have a Mox Pearl. A Dismember? Now that could be interesting. That is not a one drop spell. Huh. Okay. If only I could thought seize besage you. I guess. So I could double dismember and then that gives us I I mean we still have Yogwill Twister anyways. So I'm not sure that's exactly good. We might want to thought seize. We could double like with the Lutri double thought seize. Is that good though? I don't know. Like how like what card could they possibly have that we need to be afraid of though? Well, we can double dismember with our Lutri. Chat. Why what is going on? Chat is saying some weird things tonight. Yeah, yeah. It, you have you read Lutri? I'm gonna just pass though. Chat's struggling. I understand. I think the answer is double dismember. Which lets us draw into any spell and get double spell. I guess it does cost us life, but I think that's fine. All right. Pay, pay. Discard, hold priority. Discard. And then discard. And I still get the dismember in my yard, right? Because I kill this one with the copy, I kill this one, it goes to my yard, and now I have Dismember in my Yogg will snap. Things look strong. I did buff the Tarmogoyf, I guess, but... Uh, they didn't play anything with six cards in hand. What does that mean? It feels like I would be tempting fate to give them a fresh seven and let them hit Besaju, so... Uh, I'm going to just keep going until they hit the Seiju, and then we can do twisties. Maybe they have, like, a big vigor, a vigor here. Oh. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to snap dismember. Do I want to snap dismember? The, well, this is pro green. So. I mean, I have a Yogg will, so I feel like I might as well. What am I dismembering? Oh, I guess I, it loses my ability to remove a collector roof later in the game. I don't know if that would ever matter in this point. Oh, I just tapped, like, a ton of extra mana for no reason. All right, cool. Oh, they just chose to leave the 
the cards in my yard after. Mm, all right, I guess it gives me the ability to like draw a whole breacher or an Arsa and then go Yogwell Twister. That's true. They could have a, Ko a Kogula. Okay, here's another Tarmogoyf. In the end, the only card that matters is those two cards, Paseju and Kogula. Because everything else I have... Whoa, no, no, no. Kogula doesn't work because Kogula is green. So it's just Paseju still. I was talked into that one. Uh, chat got me again. All right, well, this is a lethal time walk. The fact that we are winning this game is a wee bit sus. If my opponent had named a, a, non, a land off Abundant Harvest, I would have had a Besaju. Also probably would have died. Okay. Can we make up for Natmi's horrific choice in game one and, and still win this series? It's, it's possible. Do we need a needle in our deck? Now that I now that I think about it, feels like the answer could be yes. Needle might be a better use than negation for because this also hits Minx and Boo. It's just they, they play so much artifact removal. It feels like a needle is a silly thing. It's not not me's fault. Who's who's whose fault is it? Now I wanna know. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'm just the streamer, you know? I I can't I can't be blamed when money exchanges hands and things happen. I'm just a streamer. All right. I have a an otter. I also have mana misstep all right, I, I think this is an acceptable hand against our opponent's deck. We can encounter their ignoble high arc. We have a repeal for their chalice. Everything is fine. <laughs> uh, do we have a repeal for their... Uh, I guess we're misstepping this Dryad Militant. They always got me. The one Dryad Militant always coming in the clutch. Oh boy. Vampiric Tutor. Alright, that exposes me to Wasteland, but they don't play four Wastelands, right? We can go Underground Sea, repeal their Chalice of the Void, play our two Moxen, upkeep, vamp for Tinker. Or if they figure us, we can vamp for S Ancestral. Feels right. Why not just fetch pass? Mm, I want to deploy my Moxen. Why do I want to deploy my Moxen? So I can get Vigored. <laughs> I, I, I mean, if, if I do vamp fetch pass, yeah, it's, it's better. It does sound better. Yeah, but think of the complaint equity you pass up on not being able to get uh, Wastelanded here. Another Fable off Spirit Guide. Uh, we're really far away. If we... So, if we uh, go... We can't go Black Lotus because we no longer have Repeal. Hmm... Guess we just tinker and hope they don't have uh, a vigor. Just go Citadel. Feels like a high variance play that I'm all about. Hmm. I'm, I'm I'm down.
I'm gonna go Citadel. Narset, nice. Ancestral, nice. Oh, hello there, friend. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. Feels like a just do it kind of moment. I don't have a chalice answer right now. Still don't have a chalice answer. With the win in hand was called. What was the win in hand? We had demo we had consult kill, but we didn't have mana for it. Maybe we'll just die to lightning bolts. I'm not winning this turn. Why not? Recycled repeal back into our deck. You don't want to get rid of the two cards that they had in their hand? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Last card. Survey says. Monkey! All right. Narset. All right. So if we go... We're one mana... Yeah, we can go... We can twist her again. Oh, no, we can't twist her again. It's in our graveyard. Uh, I guess we could always just Mystical Repeal and then kill them some way. Seems fine. What's the best way to do this? Is there a, a straightforward and easy way? Um, we could Demonic for... Um, we could... Vamp for uh, Thassa's Oracle, cast Thassa's Oracle, and then Vamp a uh, Mystical for a Demonic Consultation. I think. Nope, we're one minute short of that, aren't we? No, 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 we have Vamp. Vamp is one mana, two life, one mana, or uh, one mana, two life. Yeah, cool. I think that's going to be the line we choose. So if I just do, I don't know why I play this land out. If this doesn't work, I'll be uh, sad, but vamp, oracle, oracle, trigger, mystical. Should we do a uh, tainted pack instead? Now we can name something with consult. That sounds cooler. You are already dead. Boom. Yeah, I, I wouldn't consider the way we played any of these uh, cards or spells or sequences um, remotely correct. But it was fun. We had a good time. Uh, uh, my opponent has left the game. Did I? Did I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, opponent. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bam. I didn't expect that. 
What do we do now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely shouldn't have twisted, right? Well, I don't know. Yeah, one card with... Oh, no, they're back. They're back. They're back. They just DC'd. They just DC'd. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. False alarm. False alarm was called. It's everything. No problem. We're cool. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe, maybe. I, <laughs> yeah, you never know. No, you see, you see, Eric. The reason we're not playing Doomsday in our deck is because we're we don't. We, that's that would make our deck too good. If we put Doomsday in our deck, we'll win far too much. <laughs> no, you see, this is a for fun stream, and if we put Doomsday in our deck, the deck is immediately too good. All right, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe we did make absorbing three mad, but uh, we got the W. I'll see you in round two. Okay, here we go, round two. We have an elemental otter. Our opponent is probably on jewel shops, though they have a bit more range than that. Uh, I'm safe from not me making me play Demonic Consultation from Lotus from in this game, as I, uh, have the Lotus in my hand. Saga Gaming. No! No, no, you can't. <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> Alright, we'll just draw the Thassa's Oracle and kill our opponent. Okay, well, now we gotta figure out what to do. So, if we were to go top, tinker, no, there's no tinker opportunities here. So, there's, I don't play any rituals in my deck. Uh, I mean, we could go Lotus, Underground Sea, Ancestral, uh, Night Whisper into Ancestral. That draws us a million cards. We do only have one Force of Will in our deck. We could theoretically just go Mystical for Force of Will, and then Night Whisper into Force of Will. I think I'm just going to draw a million cards. I think I have decided that a million cards is the answer. Mystical, Ancestral... Night Whisper, draw two, draw three. All right, well, I have Consult Oracle. The problem is I'm going to die far before that ever happens. I definitely think it's worth it to overdraw there in the light, in the chance that we um, draw Mox. Uh, is it more likely I play a Nars at this game or a Saga? Maybe. The Saga, I might play if I draw Time Walk, right? No, I guess even in that situation, I wouldn't do that. Ah, my opponent has Time Walk Saga into Lotus Kill Me. All right, noted. I think it's possible I was supposed to put a Force on top of my deck, but it just doesn't feel like a very good play. Wait, did my opponent just make a Construct? That is incredible news for us. I guess if they have Workshop Time Vault, it's not incredible news for us. I guess if they have key... Yeah. Cool. Well, I didn't draw force, so I die. Had a lot of combos. I don't know. Maybe I just had to go for Force. Kind of like Op Agent, even though it's not amazing. It's no Hole Breacher, but Dress Down, Sabotage, Hercules. 
I don't really even like Flux in this matchup, but ah, uh, I don't like Flux in this matchup. Yeah, we needed a little help, and we didn't get it, which makes me think maybe we shouldn't have done the thing we did, but it's hard to say. I mean, it's not like we had one force of will that we were drawing to, Raphael. We had one, two, three... We, not, sorry, we had three forces that we were drawing to. It's we weren't that much uh, that much less likely than our than a, a normal player to have a force. I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. Like we had a bunch of cards that would have stopped what happened to us. I actually have no idea how we take cards out here though. I don't know. Uh, I guess we could take out like misstep. These cards are all great, right? Like, what are we supposed to take out? Snapcaster? Steven Snapcaster looks fine. Maybe we just don't bring an Opposition Agent and Hercules then? We just take out Misstep and Dig? Sure. But, I don't know. Like I said, I, we, we could have gone for a more conservative line that got us a force, but... Basic Island? Yeah, maybe. I haven't done the math on the lands in this deck, but maybe. Maybe Basic Island would have worked. I mean, I don't think you're allowed to mulligan a hand that has force against Jewel. Reading the card explains the card. Ah, uh, the command didn't seem to work, so I gave up. So here we could, like, Tainted Pact for Tinker or, um, Hull Breacher, maybe? We could also Tainted Pact for Mind Break Trap, which is kind of fun. I, yeah. I don't think I can let that happen. Well... If I take it back for Tinker, that actually is fine. If we just don't, if we assume our opponent's not getting another turn, then I don't think Mystic Forge matters. Though I have to find Tinker before I find Citadel off of my Tainted Pact. So I don't know if that's going to work out. So let's see what happens. Cast Tainted Pact. Tainted Pact. Thoughts he's in my hand? No. Paradoxal Outcome in my hand, no. Yogmoth's Will in my hand, no. Steel Sabotage in my hand, no. Ancestral Recall in my hand? Uh... Huh. Yeah, I guess. They have a force. If I force back, I just... I get jeweled, right? Maybe I'm supposed to anyways. Can't even get Lutri. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad. Infinite mana from the opponent. Not, uh, not reason. <sighs> yeah. Is 
they're stopping? Why are they stopping? In what world would you stop? Huh. I would never stop here for any card in their deck. I don't think there's a single card I would stop my Mystic Forge for. I would just exile any card. Karn, you can just cast. I don't think Tinker is worth. I, I act. I actively think no single blue card is worth it. I don't think Lutri Double Probe is better than. I don't think that's better than passing. Uh, but I guess I'm never going to get forced, so... I don't know. Oh, we'll find out what card they drew. I mean, I'm super doomed. Like, they have infinite mana with a Mystic Forge, right? Like, I, ha I have to hope they hit land, land. Time Walk was exiled. Hopefully they'll hit like a Saga off this Mystic Forge. Jewel? So do they just find Jewel on top? Yeah, they found Jewel on top. Maybe the card they kept was Force? Well, I can't like... If my opponent like Forces or P.O.'s in response, then I can Lutri copy Force, but if they just... They're just passing? I don't understand what's happening. All I know is we're dead is what we is what's happening. Damn. Maybe I just had to keep going on my tainted pack and just keep going until I hit Tinker. What is this? Is this PO? Untap monolith. I have no idea what they refused to Mystic Forge. I just can't comprehend what that could possibly be. I, I It must be Force of Will, right? The only thing that it could possibly be at this point is Force of Will. They must have felt if they kept Force of Will, then they could... I mean, yeah, it, I think it's Force of Will. I think it's very clearly Force of Will is what the card they kept on top. Because they're going for Lattice here when they know I have Lutri. The only way you do that is if you have Force. Yeah, okay. So they kept Forcible on top. I think that's a, a horrible play. <laughs> uh, in, in, in no... It just, I can't imagine ever making that play. I would snap through that with a Mystic Forge so fast. All right, here we go. Round three of our Lutri Extravaganza. We're up against uh, the Brian Kelly, and likely it will be a companion battle. It will be Otter versus Cat. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, Otter versus Cat. Oh, he hasn't upgraded his Luris to the nice new art. This is the perfect matchup to only have one Force of Will in. Because you know your opponent only has three Force of Wills, so. All right, let's check for Mind Break Traps. No, but they do have Force of Will Day's Chalice. 
So things are bad. And they also have Thieving Skydiver. <laughs> uh, all right, okay, all right, okay. Um, all right, well, I'm going to jam all my stuff and get my Narset countered. The classic Underworld Breach, Chalice of the Void, No Island, Days, Brian Kelly Hand. No one could have seen this coming. Not one. All right, so Force, Pitching Days. It's a blue card, right? Yeah. All right, so my opponent has Academy, Chalice on Zero, Ponder. And then they will eventually have three mana to skydive my Sapphire. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, mm-hmm. We can't get Breach comboed, which is nice, as there's a Chalice on Zero in play. They also can't, like, make this Academy bigger very fast, so they kind of need to find, like, Saga, probably, off this Ponder. Maybe Fetchland is enough. Uh, they chose not to shuffle. So, yeah. Fluster. Uh, this can only get Watery Grave if I choose to play it. I think that's acceptable. Let's go get our Lutri. Currently no sweet spells to copy, but maybe we'll draw Ancestral. All right, so did the Ponder reveal... What does the Ponder have? Ancestral? What? Okay, so apparently we are not engineered explosives for zero here. We are instead putting it on one. And they did hit a fetch land. Okay. Don't exactly know the reasoning why we wanted engineered explosives on one, but. Oh, zero would have been... No, no, no. Oh, they can't pay it for colorless. Ah, you're right. All they have is colored mana, so... They have to put it on one. God bless. Only Brian Kelly. Ooh, we can double brainstorm? kind of value we we can we can brainstorm and then fetch and then brainstorm again there's no way they drew a fluster storm right right they drew force of will uh well i i I can't, I simply can't let this happen. So, oh my god, I have no more blue black lands in my deck. Nope, I have none. I have just swamp. I have. Swamp, Island, Island, Watery Grave, Underground Sea. Ah. We're playing Tainted Pack, chat! How do I, how do I, hold on, hold on, hold on, we can solve this, we can solve this, we are playing Tainted Pack, so we have Singleton Lance, okay, Right, right there. All right, cool. Awesome. Perfect. 
We do have an otter. We do have an otter. Yes. Fair. All right. So what's my opponent's plan? They have a, an underworld breach. They could put the Luris in their hand if they wanted to. All right. I, I guess I fetch so I don't draw my swamp and be sad. Snapcaster. Ooh. It's okay. We also have a clock. Look at this otter. So I guess I made a mistake in fetching. Who knew I would draw my second brainstorm? Okay. Everything's fine. No problem. Is this intuition? Ah. So, okay. Mm-hmm, uh-huh, all right, okay. If they hit another fetch line, they can just lure us. So trading with this is pretty bad for me. I think we're just gonna snap brainstorm even though it's not great because i want to get this snapcaster in play and attacking <sighs> i don't think i want to wait and try to extract maximum value interesting oh Show me your secrets, Brian. Hello? Okay. <laughs> you know they would top deck the Black Lotus because they don't actually play red lands in their deck. Actually, they might play one Volcanic that they can fetch. They actually can't... What am I kidding? They, they, they have Chalice of the Void on zero, so they actually can't Brain Freeze combo me. <laughs> of course. Of course. Duh. <laughs> because it's a Brian Kelly deck. He lost to one too many PO players in his life, and then he started playing Chalice in every deck. It's the natural evolution of things. Wasteland? Now you can just get the Lutri, or get the Luris. They can't play the Luris yet, though, because they don't have double white or double black. Uh, maybe he was looking to end of turn brain freeze himself? I'm not sure. Man, all right. Well, if they don't hit a land drop for Lutri, we do win, or for, for Luris, we do win, which I rank as good. think that's a win i will take it i will take absolutely every single yes let's go nice mana base sick wasteland yo chat i think brian's mana base is worse than ours true or false all right i think we want dress down and i think we want fatal push opposition agent dismember no we are limited to one underground seat. It is too strong. How do we take cards out, though? This is what I haven't figured out. What do we, 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 what do we do? What do we take out of our deck? All of these cards are good versus our opponent. I think. <laughs> cut all the counters because <laughs> Brian doesn't play cards worth countering. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that your plan? I think we pitch Mystical, Twister, uh, Thoughts, 
Seize could be good. Uh, we saw a Wasteland, so I'm not going to cut an island. Scroll? What's wrong with scroll? I don't know. I'm going to cut Thoughtseize, and I'm going to cut Fluster, Spell Pierce, Island, Opal. Opal. Got him. Submit. It's calculated. It's precise. I have an elemental otter. Okay, all right. These are magic cards. Keep. Uh huh, uh huh. Flood of Strand, okay. Pass. Oh, Ancestral on my upkeep. Not great. All right, show me your eight cards. Oh, they have the days, chat. They have the, the one days. I think we just get our duress dazed. Pretty sure we're just getting dazed. It's like we just took the days. What? They didn't care. They did not care. Uh... Huh. Just in case it doesn't save this after. I mean... I have no idea what I'm supposed to take. I don't think we care about the days that much anymore. I guess we just take Breach, but Breach they can get back with Luris. So is it actually good to take Breach? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm taking Breach. It feels bad though. Gitaxian probe? I can't imagine taking Gitaxian probe is right. But they do get free info. So maybe. What what bad cards are we playing? My hand is all cards that can very much be played in any PO or any saga deck in the format. Intuition is a three mana spell though. Is that really what we want to be doing? What are they going to name? Are they going to name like a flooded strand or something here? Or are they going to name Time Vault Key? They're going to name Misty Rainforest. I guess. I guess that's something you could do. Is that really a play that people want to be making? Ooh, Saga is a draw and a half, isn't it? Uh, Yeah, let's do that. That seems much better. What can we vamp for? A force? So they can intuition and get Lotus, Brain Freeze, some other mana card. Oh, we're just going to go Hermit. Let's see. Do I care if they vamp? Oh. I guess it stops me from being able to force. 
I'm not really sure this matters. Well, I guess if they flash it back, I can't counter any of their spells, and maybe I just die at that point. It's kind of interesting. What if I just put Mind Break Trap in my hand? I'm never resolving something in the rest of this game, right? I guess I could put Opposition Agent in my hand. It doesn't really help me. Like, looking for a non-creature that we could play, and it's just, like, what? It's just Opposition Agent and Hull Breacher. I actually think I would have vamped for Saga here if I didn't already have a Saga in play. I guess I could just vamp for mana. We could just get a Black Lotus. Kind of feels silly when I have... A saga coming off. None of these are intuitive to me as a strong play here. Oh, I, I'm never resolving a Yogg, right? Like, my opponent has a Malevolent Hermit and a Daze. I gotta make sure I don't play the Misty Rainforest. I guess they know my whole hand, so... I mean, I think the answer, maybe it was supposed to be like Mana Crypt or something, but I do also want to get like these Saga tokens big enough. Did I bring in Needle or I didn't bring in Needle, right? And I didn't bring in Spellbomb. I might have been supposed to bring in Spellbomb, actually, thinking about how my opponent wants to play this game. Feels like I could have brought in Spellbomb and been happy. Are they going to put Luris in their hand here? Or are they casting Intuition? Are they going to put Luris in their hand? Uh, I feel like this game is slipping out of control very quickly. They only have a Daze and a Hermit, so technically I could resolve a spell through this right now. Rest down is not exactly a combination with my one saga. Hmm. I'm really not convinced that saga tokens are a game winning play here. So I'm just gonna. I just don't know how I'm, I'm stopping them from winning either. I could have vamped for Time Vault. If I just have a million mana, am I closer to winning the game? Well, I can just force their interaction, right? And just like go get an Ancestral and start doing things. Just feels fine. Oh, I can't fetch with my stupid Misty, so I have to use my Black Lotus. Whatever. This is probably fine. I guess maybe I could have gone for like a Yaw. Oh, no. I could have gone Yawgwell and then gotten the Lotus off of it. Maybe. I just don't think attacking is going to kill my opponent in the uh, time required to win. Like My opponent, I think, is going to kill me before attacking wins the game. They drew force? No, no, I need basics to fetch for basics against Wasteland decks. I can't not play basics. Now I find Time Vault. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. One, two, okay. Oh, that's not enough to play for the wizard. I feel like this is potentially winning at some point. But if I demonic into the wizard and they actually use the wizard, it does feel losing. So maybe the answer is just get my Lutri. Uh, okay. So they don't have anything in their yard currently. I don't think they can kill me with this intuition. Because if I just don't give them Black Lotus, it seems fine. Oh, I guess if they go... Luris Breach. No, that doesn't look good enough. They would have to have some serious mana in their hand for that to work. Okay, I guess they have mana in their hand. Okay, so we actually do lose because they had land mana. They get... Brain Freeze, Savine's Lotus, and then, yeah, we lose. This is why I was trying to win the game, but I couldn't. They, they drew Force of Will and all mana, huh? That's what they drew? When did they draw so many cards? Oh, I guess they cast Ancestral. No, we saw them after they had Ancestral in their hand, right? They just drew cards for turn and cycled a probe. Damn. Yeah, they they won. If I give them Black Lotus, they go Luris. Uh, wait. If I give them Black Lotus, they go Luris. Breach. Double ancestral. No, Luris breach will. Uh, Luris breach time walk untap ancestral. If I give them Savines, they bring back, they just play Luris. All right, I'm going to just give them the one that costs mana and see what they do with it. I think we're deterministically dead here, though. Maybe not deterministically dead, but oh, they, have, they have an intuition for... No? Can't they Savine's back a uh, Breach? Yeah, I think they can. They can Savine back Breach, and then they go Time Walk. No? What am I missing? Savine's back Breach. Play Lo Lotus, one, two, three. Play Time Walk, one. I mean, maybe they lose out. Uh, they lose their time. They lose their something if they do that. I'm I'm almost 100% sure they had a win. I'm so confused. So their hand is what right now? Their hand is Savines plus two unknowns. I drew Citadel. I mean, I could go Demonic Lotus. No, I don't have Lotus. I could go Demonic Yogwill. They still have stupid this thing. So I have to go Dress Down. Demonic... I have to draw a mana source. I could go... I can't dress down double demonic. Or I could technically, I could pay one extra mana for this. But I don't have that mana, right? So demonic. I'm I'm too I'm two mana short. I could I could end of turn dress down. 
which case they wouldn't be able to Luris or Hermadrid, but they would still be able to Savines an Underworld Breach and cast Ancestrals and Time Walks and win. So I think I needed to cast Dress Down and draw a... Maybe they'll just sack in response here. Uh, oh, no. Okay. So I think I need to draw like a Academy maybe. Or do I have enough for that? No, I'm sure. Uh, this is free... I mean, they must have another counter spell, right? That's the only reason they would pass the turn. Okay. Uh, so, Ruby, I only have two mana, so I don't have a Yogwill. Well, if I play key, key is free, but no, anything else. So, I could get... Consult... I could get Academy, but I don't have anything to play with Academy. Maybe they wanted to do it with Counterspell Backup or something for Mind Break Trap, maybe. I don't know. I can't snap anything. Do I just have to get Time Walk and hope my top deck gives me something? I think that's the answer. Just time walk into Vault Key. So they did have a, they had a fluster storm. Okay, all right. Let's just go next then. So I, I think that the reason they didn't go for the win is because they had Malevolent Hermit and they had fluster storm, and so they figured it would be better to wait in case well in case I had because they have to tap out to use um to win the game by casting Savines on Breach. So, I think my opponent just decided to play cautiously, which seems fine. I'm going to bring in this spell bomb, though. Um, spell bomb, thought sees. No, I, I don't think I want to bring in Tormod script. The spell bomb cycles. I think bringing in Tormod script is not good. I do need to win this game relatively quick pace. Maybe I will take out an island. Hmm. I can see like viable use for most of these magic cards, which makes it quite hard for me to cut one. Should have to find the worst one. Maybe this dismember is actually not that good. That depends on what their other creatures are. Tough match. Tough match. I had I had the instinct that I was gonna die when I passed the turn, but I didn't really figure out a way to compellingly make make head roads uh, headway in that game. I feel like if I was to review that game, there would be quite a few different paths we could have gone on that might have been a better spot for us. It was tough, though, because at this point here, I didn't really feel like we were... had an issue. But maybe I could have gotten away with, like, dressing Intuition or Probe. Like, they can't ever needle me if I get rid of Probe. But needling didn't really seem like it mattered either. What do you mean? Like, going for end of turn dress down? Yeah, that's possible. I, I I mean the, the the thing is I wasn't really expect like it was it's weird because I wasn't expecting my opponent to kill me that turn because they needed to have Moxon and land, and it didn't seem super likely. 
Okay, so I have uh tainted pack kill as long as no, I, I can just taint a pack for Oracle. Maybe I'm supposed to I fetch and then I taint a pack for Oracle. Do I hit this? Sure. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm probably just jamming. Obviously, I get wrecked by Flusterstorm pretty hard. Uh, no, 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 I can't go for Tinker now because we just lost Citadel. It's kind of hard to do online. Hope I don't go past it trying to do this fast. Oh, what if I just don't have another land? <laughs> I might just not have another land after all this, right? That's pretty bad. Wait, where is it? So I guess I... Did I miss it? So I have what? I have island and I have... Lotus, Sapphire, I think I have to take this island. Where's Watery Grave? Wait, no, Watery Grave is still missing? No, Water Grave is gone. Water Grave is gone. Underground Sea is gone. Island is my last blue source. So I have to draw my Thoughts as Oracle as one of my last three cards here. Oracle? Dispute. That's not going to do it. All right. Well, I have to wait now. Um, this technically doesn't matter because at this point I have low enough life. I just need to hope they don't have a force. Oh, fuck off! Brian! That's so messed up. You know it's their only wasteland, too. They have one wasteland, one strip. Did I miss the oracle? Like, crazy. No, that's the Oracle was my last card. <laughs> oh. I guess I shouldn't have boarded out the island, huh? I learned my lesson, huh?
guess I should not have boarded out the island. So, Fatal Push could have been island. Still would have been really bad for me. That feels extremely unlucky. All right. Okay, let's go again. So far, my demonic consultations and my tainted packs have both killed me. <laughs> so things are not exactly going great. This hand slaps, though. This hand's sweet. Would do this hand again. Let's go. I mean, I guess if they have a grief or a force of will or a negation, it's bad, but whatever. Power. Saga Gaming. Okay. Why is this down here? Be up here, please. Pearl? Sapphire? Any traps? Any traps? Any traps? <gasps> well, I'm going to trap it anyways. All right. Uh, we got to start doing some thinking here because I'm no longer convinced twisting is the best play. So what else can we do? We can uh, merchant ancestral, and then if we hit a land time walk, it's probably the best line, right? Is there a better line than that? I guess we could demonic for like a academy or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna get this. Do this. And then I didn't hit a I didn't hit a fetch land or anything. So I guess we're just time walking. Uh-oh. Land? Uh-oh. Dark slick shores. Oh, I don't want it to get wastelanded, so I guess the answer is we wait. <laughs> uh, things are bad. Things are bad. Yeah, my opponent's playing workshops. All right, so, man, they're going to get a Saga go off here. So even if I Demonic for... Can't Demonic for Lotus. Could Demonic for Academy, but I didn't choose to play this land because of Wasteland. I could Twist and just hope we win, but... TT for Tinker. Isn't that still kind of bad? I, I still have concerns about that play, but it might be better. Like, we do need to still find a blue source for Wasteland. Everything is kind of bad, I agree with. But isn't it better to just find Talarian than find Tinker? And then on our next turn, we have guaranteed mana to go, like, dig through timing? I think it's better to just find Academy and wait another turn. Is there anything that I would play off this spin? I don't think so. I think Academy should be the best line. Especially if they're making Saga tokens. That's good for me. Uh, I guess I should spin in case they needle me. Uh, these cards are garbage. Man. I guess I take a fetch. Maybe I'm going to end up fetching and digging. I mean, they could just go, like, Soul Ring Sphere here, too, right? Everything is super bad. Yeah, everything is horrible. That went so badly. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy.
crazy how badly that went. I don't have the dress down in the main. I have a repeal. Um, I don't have a Hercules in the main. <sighs> yeah. Well. So do we fetch to get rid of the two bad cards on our top and then or do we do we need to get this academy going? Academy dig with two misses. I don't want to get rid of these cards in my yard though, so Man, I actually have to get rid of some of these. I guess we're just super dead, huh? I don't have any of the anti-shops cards in my main. I don't have the dress down or the hercules or the flux. I could get a repeal. Why does this cost so I guess I just have to get rid of everything in my yard, right? Try to find a repeal. Oracle Tainted Pact. Technically wins if my opponent doesn't have an artifact. I guess I can spin for a force. I could blind draw for... I think I just take this win and then blind draw for a repeal. Oh, but then I won't have enough mana to... <laughs> oh, no, I will, but I won't have enough life. Okay. Uh, Yeah, it's it's doomed. Like, they clearly have an artifact they can cast. They didn't have any lands the last three turns. There's just no chance we don't die. Uh, this technically doesn't save me. Because <laughs> I don't have... I don't, I have to take two damage to save two damage. All right, okay. Uh, that feels like a weird loss. I can't imagine we're, we're supposed to lose very often from there. I wonder what a play I could have made that was better. All right, well, we have Flux, Hercules, Dress Down, Sabotage, Push, and then Fluster, Thought Seize, Misstep, Probe, Dispute. think op agent and saga is good enough kind of like duress on the play it's probably fine i feel like i must have thrown that game somewhere and it must have been an easy win and i just couldn't think kind of man this hand uh kind of feels like a bait Maybe I'm just supposed to go Island Ancestral. Is there any upside of going? It's got to be Island Ancestral. Oh, I guess there's no reason for me to do this now unless I think they have Mental Misstep in their deck. Oh, come on! Sideboard mental misstep from shops. I I I feel like I'm I'm just getting dis <laughs> I don't know, man. 
I guess the same thing would have happened if I duress, but I wouldn't have lost my ancestral ring. Jeez. How can how can shops ever lose, really? <laughs> That's it? What? I have no idea what's going on. They have hard cast mind break trap, right? That's what that's what this means. It means they have hard cast mind break trap. I mean, I still have to cast Night's Whisper, right? Like, I don't really have a choice. I could duress, but I just feel like that's such a long, bit huge waste of time, right? Must be hard cast mind break trap. There's no way they kept like seven mana inspector misstep all lands. I guess if they're all sagas, maybe. <laughs> really? Strip mine? Really? And they still have hardcast mind break trap up. Can I? I don't think I can. I don't think I can negate that. I think I have to keep this. I don't. I think my my wins here are Oracle, right? I guess they could technically attach if they wanted to. Oh, I just F6 to the... Oh, they had, they had, they had mana to pay for it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just get me out, get me out of this game. Oh, it's, they, they had hard cast mind break trap and the mana to pay for it. So it just, it's fine. Okay, here we go. Round five. We're gonna, it's, everything is gonna be better. I promise. Yeah, okay. This vibes. I, I can't ever imagine like duressing there over ancestral ling is better. It just doesn't, just doesn't seem good. And the chances they have mind break, the mental misstep are so small. They have to one have it in their seventy five, which is like a fraction of all shops decks have a mental misstep in their seventy five. And if they do, it's in their sideboard. I mean, obviously it's game two, so maybe that doesn't. Maybe that's not a reasonable thing to say, but. Uh, I'm going to play the Underground Sea because the only black source I can fetch off the Misty Rainforest is a Watery Grave, and I don't actually want to take the two damage for it. Um, so if they Wasteland me, then we'll, you know, regrettably enter that path, but I think I'd rather just play this Underground Sea. I don't exactly know how I'm progressing this game. It might just be Twisting. We lost that game, not me! <laughs> in fact i don't know if we have we won a game with console we won a game with console okay uh so i could go force and that way i could twist with force back up doesn't seem great what if i just get a hole breacher or a narset i feel like a narset is a better card to get. I don't think I need a second black source here. Yeah. I don't know what I expected. Playing four Force of Wills is cheating. You should only be allowed to play one. So this is Ancestral. Maybe they'll cast a Mox beforehand.
Now my Twister gets flustered. Okay. Well, the good news is they only have two cards and three mana. So when you think about it that way, we have three cards and three mana. So it's a close game. Nope, not once. Our, our cards are not that much different from everyone else's cards. They've already used three Force of Wills. Think about it. We still have a Force of Will in our deck. <laughs> they also, I guess, still have a Force of Will in their deck. It's mental misstep, just in time. Oh, we got a fetch. Clear the top. It's doable. It's a doable. It's a winnable game. It's win it's a winnable game. Winnable game. I believe. Do you believe? Chat. Type one if you believe. Hmm. Oh, 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 I see a believer. Ooh, ooh. It's doable. No shot. Good try, opponent. What? What? What is this? What what is what is this? What is this? What is this? What is, what is, what is this? I don't have mind break trap up. It's only they've only played one spell. What is going on? I was hoping we were gonna draw land that turn, so I got a hard cast mind break trap. Technically a counter spell. Well, I guess technically not a counter spell. Oh, they ordered their top wrong. <gasps> Does that mean we can draw a land and then mind break trap their top? It's doable. Doable. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Resolvers. That's a resolver for sure. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and top, and top. Too greedy. Too greedy. All right, now we just need to draw... I don't know. I guess we're going to do that. Thoughts is you. Is your last card good, too? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? What we got? Ooh! All right, now if my opponent top decks a land and we top deck a Tinker, I think we got it. I think everything's good. That's a Monastery Mentor. Okay. I have a... I have a, a... Okay. I mean, I can block. Right? Right? I can block, so... Huh. Okay. We have a clock. Uh-huh. Wait, it's it's winnable. It's a top deck war, and I have a, a, a higher density of variety of cards. <laughs> I don't know. Are you coming in? They're not coming in. Do we hold the the boy in case we draw an Estral? 
Or do we play it in case we draw a two mana card? I think I think we should play it in case we draw a card that we want to cast. We're never going to draw Ancestral off the top. And if if anything, this makes Ancestral off the top more likely. Because if I if I cast it, then there's then, you know, it's more likely that I get punished, right? So. Let's go big play. It's winnable. Uh huh. Uh huh. Monk token down. Uh, one life to duress you. Sure, I accept. They have no non-creature, non-land cards in their hand. Oh no. Uh, yeah, it has to be done. It has to be done. We continue. All right, game's over. Game's over. Is the game over? I assume the game is over. This is Yogwill something. Oh, I don't need a Snapcaster. I assume this is just Yogwill. So if I Yogwill, I have I should be able to uh, Oracle kill right because I'll have demonic and vampire. Oh, I won't have enough black mana. Is there? I mean, it's, it's still probably Yogwill, even if I don't have a Determinist to kill off of it. That's a lot of life to lose. And it's a black source. Probably can't do that. I can tinker for a Lotus, though, right? So if I do blue mana, colorless mana, black... All right, I don't need to do that yet. I need to do... I think we have a, a kill here. So if I go Yogwill... Emerald. Tinker. Oh, I can just go uh, Volky. So I can just go Tinker this into Volky. That's fine. We can do that. Yeah. I was looking for an Oracle kill as well. I think we also have an Oracle kill because I can Tinker into a Lotus. And then I can Demonic for Oracle and Vamp for for a consult. So I have either way. Both both lines both lines win. Always Yogwill, almost always. Yogwill is so broken. Okay, good win. Good win. Good win. Good win. Uh we are playing against some kind of uh Tinker deck, right? So we're gonna bring in Dress Down and we're going to bring in Op Agent. And I I think that's about it. We're kind of pre-boarded. Oh, P.O., P.O., P.O. So we're going to bring in Dress Down, and we're going to bring in Op Agent. <laughs> uh, and we're going to take out Thought. What are we going to take out? We're so boarded for the, the blue matchup, it's crazy. Like, none of our cards are bad in the blue matchup. We did get punished when we took out the island last time, but I'm pretty sure we're supposed to take out the island. Maybe we just take out, like, Mystical? I don't know. Like, all of these cards are what we want to be doing, so let's just do that. Seems fine. Okay, all right. We are the superior PO deck. We are the superior Tinker deck. We are the superior Force of Will deck. Some, some, some could argue that. Did opponent have a 3-2 that they could take from outside of the game? Nope. I have an otter. This one looks pretty bad. This is a bit too many manas. Too many lands. This is better, for sure. Uh, 
now is this a key bottom or is this a land bottom could be a land bottom we are knights whispering out on the draw Uh, okay, uh-huh. We might want a merchant for force. Something we can consider doing as well. Uh, I mean, I guess if they just turn one Tinker us, we lose. I didn't even bother boarding in like a Steel Sabotage or something. If they resolve a Citadel, they deserve to win. Soul Ring can still Tinker us. <sighs> Hardcast Citadel? Pass. Interesting. So they could have PO still. I feel like I'm going to get a force. And then next turn we can like whisper or something. Maybe I'm supposed to get in a. No, yeah, yeah, Force of Will makes the most sense here. I mean, all they need to do is have a, a Fluster to beat us, but... I think it at least gives us some chances. I think if we just, like, draw two cards... It puts us too vulnerable. They only have one card in hand, though, so they'd have to have, like, PO and Fluster... Or I guess they could have PO and negation at this point. Uh, vamping here doesn't look like it makes any sense. So we'll draw probe. Yeah, yeah. Show me what you got. I want perfect info, please. They have brainstormed two cards on top. And there are two cards in their hand. What is this? Is this a hole breacher, maybe? Ah, oh, misstep. Feels good for us. Whisper. Mana? I did put a mana on the bottom, though. Yeah, I deserve that. I definitely deserve that. Should just put the stupid key on the bottom of my deck. I don't think there's a good vamp here. I can vamp for like Lotus or Mana Crypt or a land, but I think those are all kind of bad. I think I would rather just draw, play key, hold up Pierce vamp. Uh, if I draw the land for the turn, then I can do the same thing, except I can go get the uh, Time Vault. I shouldn't have put the land on the bottom. I feel like putting the land on the bottom was just like the dumbest thing. I don't know why I did that. I should just put the key. I look like they brainstormed and locked themselves into nothing of value. I kind of am liking the idea of just vamping for... Like, I don't want to vamp for Time Vault here when I can't even use it. It just feels really silly, right? I kind of like the idea of vamping for Talarian Academy. Maybe I'm stupid if I do that, but... How am I really losing this long game? What is this? Is this a force? Sure. Fine. Right, now I feel really good about our position. Now they don't have like force to protect a spell. Two cards in hand. We have double force. For, our loot tree deck has double force in hand. That doesn't seem right. That's, 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 that doesn't seem right. I think I am going to play this opposition agent, even though I lose my surprise factor. I think it's fine. We'll start clocking. I'd like to be able to hold up in everything. I don't even think I want to put Lutri in my hand. I guess Spell Pierce is kind of silly to hold up. A hard cast negation is nice to hold up. 
Maybe I don't need to hold up hard cast negation because I guess I could beat Fluster theoretically. No, I think it's fine to put the Lutri in my hand. It makes my next plays really strong as well. What is this? Vamp? I can't vamp. Don't vamp. Oh, snap. Huh. Uh, I think I'll just mental mist up the brainstorm. It's not even like the highest value mental mist up, but it seems fine. All right, two cards in hand, two forces in hand. They can't play demonics or anything like that. <laughs> Man, have you seen a bigger punish? It's absolutely incredible. I should have pitched the stupid spell pierce. Why did I pitch the dress down? <sighs> it's fine. Mm, attack. The dress down was a better card to keep than the spell pierce. Don't know why I kept the spell pierce. Uh, they know about the force of will, and the force of negation is hard castable. So I think it's better to use the force, even if I can't counter like a top deck mentor. Could be wrong, but I feel like I don't want to show them negation, but. Maybe that's not actually worth it because of Mentor. It's definitely possible. Thoughtseize. Can I get away with Thoughtseizing here? What's the life totals look like? I wish I had kept the stupid dress down, but... So this puts them to seven, and I go to five, and I go to three, and I go to one, so yes. All right, they have nothing. Uh, it's pretty good for us. I guess, like, you, the Mentor is kind of annoying, though. You're Well, no, I have Unblockable. So... They drew something. Dress down. Um... Well, they can't really fetch anyways... So, I guess it's fine. I guess I can't. Do I make my opposition agent unblockable? That could punish me if they play Luster Storm. Mm, I probably still do though. I don't, I, I think turning off tutors is good here. 
I guess it's still not good enough. I could have thrown this game with my like small inaccuracies, to be honest. I feel like it's a it's a definite possibility that I end up throwing this game due to small inaccuracies. Might not get punished though. It's a pretty good draw. Can just hard cast it. Yeah, I don't like the way I played this game. I think there's lots of little things that we could have done better. feel like I just hemorrhaged value all over the place, but my opponent drew pretty badly, so... We were playing my PO list. Okay, 2-3, two, 2-3. Three, two, three. Um, I think that was more like variance and pilot than anything. This deck didn't feel that bad. Uh, we like, what, we demonic consultation and lost the game once. We taped impact and lost the game once. Um... Our opponents had, like, uh, crazy shop draws. I didn't really play very well, which also didn't help. But overall, it's, it works pretty well. Definitely, uh, the, the thing that I would definitely play is I would get a Shieldred in this deck. I think Shieldred looks really good in this deck. And I would definitely play it over, I don't know, something. Doesn't really matter which one you want to play it over, but... I would get a Shieldred in this deck. Card is unreal, and I just forgot to... I just didn't think about it. But it's pretty good here. But, uh, you know, the path of Tinker can lead to very uh, dangerous and exciting things. And so this is definitely one of the things you can do. I feel like Chains Impact... We didn't get to do the really cool thing, which is if you Lutri a Chains Impact, uh, then you can get have the first one get a Thassa's Oracle, and then the second one just exile cards until you have, you know, two cards left in your library, or three cards left in your library. Uh, and then you can just untap an Oracle. Uh, but that just, you know, it just costs a million mana because of the Lutri nerf. It's actually really funny that, with the exception of Luris, the nerfs to the Companions was kind of sad for Vintage, as it basically pushed all of them out of playability. Uh, and the other ones were a lot closer when you could play them. Like, Lutri felt pretty good when you could uh, just play it for three. Um, Zerda felt a little bit better. Obviously, Zerda was like pre Saga, pre Saga Zerda felt a little bit better, but that's a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, this deck was fun, it was a good time. Uh, make sure you check out the YouTube channel, subscribe on the YouTube channel, free action you can do to help support the channel. And there will always be more vintage content Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I have a bunch of off-stream recorded videos that'll be going up because I won't be able to stream all the Saturdays in the in the near future, including this next Saturday. So, catch you then.